So Gaslight Gathering is coming up soon, and that's like a steampunk convention here in San Diego. And this is only the second year, and I'm <laughs> and 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 <laughs> and um, I'm volunteering. So for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I think it's the 11th or the 13th of May, I'll be volunteering every single day from 12:30 to 4:30, which is really cool because they can take the bus there, spend the day there, and then have some fun afterwards. You know, walk around, look at different things, and. Um, I like volunteering because I feel like I get to meet people more as compared to like if I buy a ticket for something then I walk around I'm like look at the table cool keep walking look at the table cool keep walking and then I don't really talk to people because I'm I'm kind of shy I'm breaking out of it a lot but I'm not good at starting conversations with people you know and unless somebody starts with me then I can kind of sometimes react better but it's hard translating some of my thoughts sometimes that's why I'm always worried that you're not going to understand what I'm saying in these videos because I'm like ah brain splatter all over the place you know but whatever but um so I've been last minute because I just got my first paychecks uh recently and they're tiny so most of them went to my bills but I had a little bit left over and some Etsy sales that I could buy some accessories and whatnot for my outfits I couldn't buy anything like skirts and stuff that I kind of really need from these outfits because I've I talk about this every time I do a video because I've gained weight. Big deal. <laughs> but it is a big deal when you don't have money and you can't buy more outfits for these things. And you're like, what am I going to wear? So um, I was thinking about different accessories I can make. Like I've been making um, leather rings. I finally got the thread for them because like somehow our house ate the black thread that I needed. And um, so I cut those out already. I just need to sew them. If I can find the end of this thread, I got like one of those cheap dollar threads. But like I can't find the end of the spool and I'm ready to just like slice it open or something. But um, anyway, so I've been looking at hair accessories, different things like that, earrings and whatnot. I pretty much have a good amount of jewelry. But the problem was that I was seeing was that my arms were pretty bare because I have one shirt, shirt that's shorter sleeves and then one that's longer. But my arms are long because I'm, I'm a big woman and I'm tall and so I have like long limbs and everything. Um, so this shirt was obviously made for someone who was like five feet tall and five nine. So it doesn't work. And I'm big. So, um, I wanted to get something to cover. My, my uh, first thought was like wrist cuffs. I need wrist cuffs, but it was, I'm having a hard time finding them. They're very expensive because people make them really nice. I couldn't find any that were cheap and good looking. Like a lot of them, like the cheaper ones were just like crocheted and I don't really, it's San Diego. I'm not going to sweat out like sweat with like having like these big knitted crocheted things on my arms. So I was thinking of fingerless gloves. So, um, I found some good ones on eBay I was looking for a while and uh, I thought the fingerless gloves would look good, good for my persona because she's more like a gypsy kind of type person. She travels a lot and she has used different, has been through a bunch of different careers and whatnot and um, when she can't find a job being like a governess or a pilot or something, different weird things because she's an adventurous so unlike me. <laughs> um, she'll read cards and runes and different things like she's an occultist, you know. So um, I thought that the fingerless gloves would look really well, or really good. So the fingerless gloves are pretty damn expensive on eBay even. Like, I couldn't really find a lot that I liked. I kind of wanted one that was like a lace one, but they looked very 80s to me. So, um, and plus I didn't want to pay like 10 bucks for lace gloves that I could probably gonna only wear once because they look like they're going to rip very thin lace. And even on Etsy, they're kind of expensive. So I uh, found really cool ones just out of my price range, you know. So then I finally found these ones that are leather and lace that have the leather glove with the fingers and then like have on each of the fingers at the end opening they'll have like a tiny little bit of lace which is really nice. Then I realized that I ordered from somewhere in Asia, I forgot where, and that usually when I order for something there they'll say like hey free shipping or very cheap shipping. You're like wow why is the shipping so cheap? It's because it takes like a month to get here. So I don't think it's going to be here in time for gas light gathering. And then I ordered another pair that was like $2. That's just like some stretchy material. And again, didn't realize that I didn't look at the shipping dates because I was just so excited. It's coming like the day after gas light gathering, it says. So we'll see. So uh, my friend told me that Claire's has a lot of fingerless gloves. And um, so I went and bought some. So I got these. And I like them because they have like little eagles on them right here. And even though they look like they're supposed to be from like the, I like, don't you like the way they look? I love the way they look. I wear these all the time. <laughs> but um, they have like little eagles on them, which kind of reminds me of like uh, the Prussian flag and everything. But they know they're supposed to probably look like some sort of American symbol for more money or whatever. But I'll say it's Prussian <laughs> just to amuse myself. Um, or German or something, because my persona is um, half German and then half Romanian. So, um, and I was also thinking of what else I could do to, for my outfit. My mom, 
have like some hair pieces, but none of them are over the top. And I'm looking at these people, and like accessories make your outfit when you're doing steampunk. Like you can have a very plain outfit and get some something crappy from the thrift store. You fix it up with accessories, you're gonna look awesome. So I was thinking of trying to get accessories for my outfit, especially things that I haven't used before, because I've done some photo shoots and stuff and taking pictures of friends and whatnot. And uh, it needs something. Like somebody had taken something that I was using, a little feather, and stuck it in the back of my head during a photo shoot, and I was like, that looks great. <laughs> I never thought about that. And um, so I was thinking of like a hair stick with lots of feathers sticking out the ends or something really big. I can't think of what to do. I'm not a really good at hair or makeup or anything. So usually when I do my hair, I just twist up the sides and I would curl the back or put it in a bun. So um, I'm trying to figure out some hair things that I could do. And I don't want to make pretty hair things and then I don't know how to style my hair to put them in there. You know, so I'm excited for it to start. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I need another paycheck so I can buy things. But it's it's kind of almost too late to buy things online, except for on Etsy, because eBay a lot of the times the shipping will be too much um, to get it to you right away. Because usually, and with eBay, I've noticed that um, a lot of times it takes a while to get to you. Whereas Etsy, usually they ship you at least within five days, like I do with my shops. So I try to get it by that fifth day, and if I don't, then I was like, here's partial refund, or here's a gift, or I'll put something in their package. And I'm like, so sorry, I never ever try and go past that sixth day unless some like holiday pops up or something, but I have all these disclaimers and whatnot in my store. So usually I try and get it out like a day or two later, but, um, I don't check my Etsy every single day. Sometimes I'm like, ah, it's been three days. I already wrapped this up, <laughs> you know, um, or their order on like weird days where it's like a four day weekend or something. I'm like, ah, no, the post office isn't working. I need to ship these, you know, but whatever, uh, off topic. So I'm um, trying to get really things together and I've had friends send me cool things like I have um, lots of cool little bullet casings and whatnot for my store that I'm probably going to make something for myself out of. I just ordered the head pins because I needed like at least a minimum of two inch head pins because that's about uh, inch, is it? I think it's inch and a half. So I needed something to stick out a little bit so I could at least make a little bit of a curve on there. Now I'm thinking I should have tried found three inch ones. but. I'll still use them for something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Like, I don't really know what else to talk about for this. I'm just really excited about Gaslight Gathering because I never really get to do steampunk things. I kind of feel like I want to go on, like, a liquid diet until then or whatever, but I'm not going to because I'll, I'm not going to suffer for this event. It's not like I'm going to go find me a man there or something. But anyway, so thank you for watching.